check, check. This is rice. Think it's good for you? Think again. It's one simple trick to controlling your weight. Cardio with the rice experience. Okay guys, what's up? Good morning. 7.40 a.m. Welcome to uh, my official first live stream. So I'll, I'll kind of be figuring out exactly how this works uh, as I go on. Hopefully this is like usable. Uh, if anyone is in here, I think I can see your comments. So go ahead and like say hello if you're here. Uh, Kai should be here in a second and then we'll kind of be describing like what we like um, ab About our current trucks what we'd like to see in the new truck and um, Just our expectations, you know, and kind of what has what Ford has to do to um, You know kind, kind of get on top of this T-Rex, right? Because that's kind of it's a problem right right now for Ford unfortunately We're about 17 minutes away now from the uh, the new Raptor reveal. My dogs are barking. That sounds like Kai might be here. I'll be back in uh, one minute. One minute. Okay, guys, we're back. Kai is here. I made it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, basically, you know, I've got a Gen 1 Raptor. Kai's got a Gen 2. Mm -hmm. um, I, I mean, I'm pretty excited. I'm, I'm really excited. Um, <laughs> I actually stayed up last night watching, uh, watching other videos that's related to this. That's how excited I was. So. Yeah, it sounds like... Um, there's definitely going to be a V8. Um, I, you know, that's, I think that's what everybody's thinking, but then I don't know, like knowing Ford, like always trying to surprise everybody. I'm hoping it's going to be a V8, but there could be a possibility of, you know, um, I think a V6 twin turbo. That's also hybrid. Like that, that's what some of them are thinking too. Mm. So only because Ford's trying to move forward with the whole, um, electric motor thing and well i saw that little teaser that that ford posted it sure sounded like a v8 to me yeah did you you heard it yeah i i did but you know come in the camera a little so we can oh, see you sorry i know we have to be close just oh, to... there you go sorry there. <laughs> <laughs> jason yeah. and kai's tv show yeah um any chance that uh the dct could be in this new truck I, i'm i'm not sure 
So that would be a first of its kind. Yeah. Right? What, what do you think? I I guess I don't understand transmissions enough to know why they couldn't do it. Yeah, but at the same time, I'm, I'm, you know, it's you know some of the transmission they already have that's been tested and proven. You know, why would they? Why would they go with something new? And it's the know, best that they have. Yeah. I have just I just don't know if there's a four wheel drive DCT system in existence. I don't know if it if they have it. You know, I know they're all wheel drive ones. Yeah. But I, like with a four low or something on a right. DCT, I've never seen. I've never well, even heard of it. I'm from um, from I think like an economical standpoint. I don't know if that would be, you know, that that many changes and that drastically. I don't know if it's going to make the truck affordable and whatnot. I mean, they might they might be, you know. It, they might have the capability, but I, I don't know if they would do it and put it in the new truck, right? Just because of that. Well, they have to do something. Yeah. So It seems like they turned around this Gen 3 pretty quick after the T-Rex came. Right? <laughs> yep. yep. I Absolutely, mean, man. I mean, almost immediately. I mean, the, the, the Ram brand, uh, the T-Rex, they definitely call Ford out on that, right? Like one of the commercials, the T-Rex ripping... Bunch of little Raptors apart. Yeah, I mean that's a direct call out to to Ford. I mean, of course they're gonna answer. You know. I feel like everyone goes after Ford, but there's not like that rivalry between any other car companies. It's just like everyone versus Ford. Yeah. It's not like Chevy versus Dodge. I don't I don't hear anything about that. Yeah. yeah it's not only really. you know you know Dodge versus Ford. Chevy versus Ford, you know, it's just like everyone's yeah. beaten up, you know, or, or tries to, right? Ford, I think they're on top yeah. for the most part. And and they're, I think they're going to do whatever they can with this Gen 3 Raptor to stay on top. Yeah, I think so too. So, um, I mean, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see, you know, what, what else, because one of the selling points for the T-Rex is, you know, our interior is the most luxurious and yada, 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 right? And, you know, Ford wasn't always known for, you know, luxury. So it'd be, it'd be interesting to see where they go from there too, right? So. Yeah, so what, on the new, the new um, F-150s, yeah, I don't know too much. I know they have the seats that fully fold down. Mm -hmm. Is that something we could see in the new Raptor? Uh, that's definitely something they... Would anybody care if that's in the new Raptor? Like who's... I, I mean... I, I do. You would. Yeah, especially on those long ferry rides. <laughs> now that we can't go, <laughs> you know. I mean, and, and yeah. you've seen, and you've driven the truck, the Gen Two, obviously, and you've seen how wide the back space is, anyways. Yeah. I mean, there's definitely, you know, more than enough room back there for you to recline your your front seat all the way down. Yeah. So why not, right? I yeah. I guess there are, there have been times in my truck where I've slept. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Again, I, you know, I guess so. Especially a, a fifty-minute ride on the ferry. Yeah. You know, early in the morning, and you know, or whatever. You know, um, if you're just going on a long, long trip, you need to pull over for a power nap. It's kind of nice. Just... I guess I would like to see them maybe offer two seats then, because I, I don't think I would give up like aggressive bolstering. Mm -hmm. No. For the reclinability. I, and I'm going to agree with you on that. Like, that's definitely something I rather have. Because even on, on my Gen 1, sometimes, like, when I do off-road it, I'm like, okay, I would actually like a little bit more aggressive seats, you know? Maybe because I'm used to it from the Shelby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> You've been kind of spoiled. For yeah. That, so, yeah, no, definitely. I mean, on, on the day-to-day -day and daily usage of the truck, obviously, you know, you're not going to need it. But the minute you, you hit up some, some trails or whatever, and obviously, you know, I, I went to the... Uh, you know, I went went to the Ford Performance School when I when I bought my truck. Yeah, the Raptor the Assault. The Raptor Assault course. Yeah. And um, you know, you do get to do that little that little rally loop that they do, and you do get to do a small jump. And yeah, I, I did wish that. Oh man, you know, these seats. You know, you, you're definitely being flung uh, a little bit. So. So when you were at the Raptor Assault um, place, was there any um, inclination that the Gen 3 Raptor was coming? No, only because like I think at that time it was still kind of, um, it was still kind of early, right? Like I went there what at the big uh, no, like halfway through 2020 was it? it was right after? Yeah. No, no, that was for the GT350. It was uh, no, I'm sorry, that was actually 2019, the end of 2019. Uh, so I think it was a little bit premature then. Yeah, the T-Rex so, wasn't even in the picture uh, no, at that time. Not at all. So I think. Um, Nobody's really kind of talked about it then, but um, 
you know, the uh, the overall consensus is always, you know, I, I wish there was a, a V8 in here, right? So, but you know, with, with the second gen being so efficient and uh, V6 being such a good motor, I think people just kind of learn to live with it. You know, I know I have myself and Curtis and I we were talking. Um, Curtis A Lug, by the way, was um, said the same thing. You know, it's like there's nothing wrong with this V6. Um, yeah, I mean, when I was shopping for my Raptor, it was definitely a consideration. Like I, yeah, absolutely. at the time, I didn't know how cool the the EcoBoost was, mm -hmm. and I was just like, okay, well, I'm just, I'm gonna get a V8. Yeah, know? no, for sure. I, I'll tell you what. Every time I watch one of your videos when you do your cold start, I, I, I'm definitely like, dang. <laughs> I wish I could do that, you know. Yeah, the truck is screaming. The yeah. truck is screaming. Yeah, you, you get joy out of cold starting your truck versus I'm like, I'm actually just, you know, starting my truck because I needed to be warm. You yeah. Know? Like, so, yeah. yeah. I feel like no matter how cool or, or uh, performance oriented the new Raptor is, if it doesn't sound good, everyone's going to hate on it. Just like oh, they yeah. did with the second gen. You already know. You, know? you already know. So, um, yeah. Especially with, with T-Rex doing what they're doing, right? With the Hellcat motor in there and sounding like a beast and everything. And I think Ford has to answer one way or another, right? But so you had a Hellcat. I did. And so what did, how, how do you think that that motor is? Um, oh, yeah, well, first of all, you know how I am, right? Like, I'm, I'm a car guy, period. I'll drive just about anything if, if you know, if it's worthy or right, or if I deem worthy, right? Um, so I, I've gave Dodge a couple of tried, you know, bought a brand new 1500, bought a, bought a, Hellcat before, and I was super excited when I had it, and the car drove like a beast. Um, there was just too many little issues that keep popping up. Um, for being a brand new car, I just, and that's the reason why I just, I kind of got away from it, mm. I traded it, and got, got the, got the, went into the GT350 and then the R. Um, but, I mean, drivetrain wise, I didn't really have any issues, I guess, because the car was brand new. Uh, when I traded it, it only had like 1,200 miles on it or something like wow, that. Yeah. Something really low. But, and that's my point. It's within that 1,200 miles, I, I've had two critical recalls. You know, the, the seat squeals. It literally was like your grandma's bed, right? Um, um, I don't know. You know, the, the electronics inside didn't really work as advertised. It was always glitching or, you know. But, you know, it just wasn't really my thing. I, obviously, it was a bigger car. And, it just yeah. didn't float. It, it floated, and it just didn't corner like I was used to coming from some of the smaller sports cars. Yeah. So, so yeah. when when the T Rex came, was there any uh, thought at all that you would try to get into one? No. No. I think I've been pretty. No. I mean, you know how many trucks I've gone through. Um, you know, and like I said, I've had a brand new fifteen hundred, and then, you know, before my before my Raptor, you know, I had that Titan, that Nissan Titan. Um, with the Cummings in it, you know, um, that was really nice. Probably one of the nicest truck I've ever driven. And then I, I upgraded to the Raptor. And yeah, let me show let me show these guys yeah. your truck. So Kai's got the the Gen Two that's on the left side of your screen, and it's a Roush. Um, quite a bit of stuff done to it. Full lighting kit, right? Baja Designs. Yeah. Full lighting winch. Um, Fifteen fifty two wheels on it. Uh, obviously the truck is wrapped like a custom wrap that pretty much broke that broke Instagram when it came out yeah right <laughs> that was kind of crazy uh, it was like featured in a lot of places I didn't even expect it so yeah so let me ask what would the what would the gen 3 Raptor um, have to have to get you to go into it um uh, honestly, for me, the biggest thing is not even about the motor. For me, it was just um, suspension, right? Like, if they can get rid of the rear leaf and go, you know, obviously to, to the strut system. Um, but, you know, with that being said, too, you, you lose certain capabilities, right, with the leaves that you're not going to you're not gonna be able to get with the, with the strut when it comes to, you know, utilitarian, when it comes to being a truck. As far but, as towing capabilities, yeah, and stuff, towing or? and whatnot, and you know that was a big thing for me because I have a, I have a, you know, a couple of trailers or whatever. Yeah, and you know, a lot of you might even say, well, it was a Raptor, it's not meant to tow, but you know, it's like, not a lot of people can afford buying a couple, you know, multiple trucks to do different things. So it's, it'd be kind of nice to, 
to up the, the towing cap capability a little bit, right? Um, but the interior, like I now having, you know, um, my son and about to have another one, the rear being how big it is, like I just can't live without, you know, that anymore. Yeah. Just because, you know, I can just throw whatever I want back there without having to use the, uh, the bed. And that's really nice. Um, I would like to see the, the interior, you know, be a little bit nicer, upgraded. Um, but really, other than that, like, you know, better output and power, um, you know, wh whether it's going to be in a V8 or continuing to stick with the V6 hybrid, um, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, mm. Yeah. I mean, the V8 would be nice. It would definitely be a game over for me. Yeah. I would probably most likely get, in, get rid of my truck and get the new one. It was a, definitely a V8. But if not, I would still consider it upgrade, right? Oh, so. okay. Yeah. Yeah, for me, I don't. I mean, I don't really know. I, I mean, even the Gen 2 would be a relatively big upgrade from the Gen 1, you know, from, from my truck. Um, but there's something special about the Gen 1 that I, I still really enjoy. No, it's I like agree. pretty raw and, you know, yeah. with just some minor suspension things, whatever. I mean, it could be very as capable, you know. Oh, absolutely. As anything there is. Yeah. Um, I mean, the Gen 1 is what got me to, to fall in love with, with the Raptor. Like, when I was overseas and I saw these guys jump in a Gen 1 over sand dunes. I'm talking about, you know, in, in Iraq and in Kuwait. Like, people were just jumping these. Mm. And I was like, what is that? I'm going to own one of those one day. Yeah. You know? So, there's definitely a special place in the heart for the Gen 1, you know. Yeah. So. I would, um, you know, I, I like that the T-Rex came out and it's, it's forced Ford to reposition in the market a little bit, you know? So I hope that, I mean, could we see the 7.3 liter? Could we see Godzilla in the truck? You know, that's, that's crazy. That, that would, would be, be, that would be nuts. Yeah. That would be crazy. I, I don't think it's an impossibility. Yeah, you're right. Um, I mean, they've been working on that motor for a long time. It seems to, you know, they've got the patent on it. Um, mm -hmm. So if the Godzilla was in there, I mean, I mean, Raptor, okay, T-Rex, I get it. A T-Rex could probably eat a Raptor. And then you just come with Godzilla over here. I True. mean, you know, yeah, you can't. It's, <laughs> it's, it's over. It's game over. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I, that, would be, that would be sick. <laughs> that would be sick. I think it's, uh, I think it's unlikely, yeah. but I don't think it's uh, out of the possibility. Um, and then, again, the DCT with some type of four-wheel drive system, I don't know if it exists. Um, uh, but it, but if it doesn't and Ford is the first, I think that would be a, a good, a, a very good thing for Ford. Yeah, yeah, that would be. And again, I don't know enough about him to know why it wouldn't or would work like a DCT in that type of system. I don't know enough. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's DCTs in you know supercars that are all wheel drive and stuff, right? So yeah, I mean, it, it works on that. So. But they don't have like four wheel low or something That's like true. that. That's the That's only true. thing I don't know. Um. Probably s simple engineering, probably, but I don't know how it. I mean, yeah, yeah. So. Awesome. So it looks like we're about two minutes away from the stream here. I'm mad excited. What What do you think? What What is it that you're expecting? Well, the the thing that confuses me a little bit is that it's not like a full redesign. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. it looks like the front end is mildly different. Mm -hmm. And maybe they put a motor in it, you know, I, I guess the interior from the 2021s has to go in it, but it's not, it doesn't look like it's a completely redesigned no, it doesn't. generation, which is confusing to me. Yeah. Most of the time when, you know, this is almost like a Gen 2 Part B or something. Yeah. Right. It's, it looks the, almost the same, like uh, for, even from the pictures of like the front end comparison, I, I mean, there's like minor, minor differences, mm -hmm. you know, so. I hope that when they make the reveal, it's a little bit more obvious. Hey, this is the Gen 3. You know, it, oh. it, you can tell it apart instantly from the Gen 2. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, obviously, you know, a, a big motor would be cool with a crazy transmission would be cool. Yep. Um, and, and, and I hope that Ford plays into this battle between the TRX and, and does throw like a couple little things like, no, we did this directly to kill you, you know, like well, that would be awesome. I, I don't know if it's like an Easter egg or something like that, but I would like to see Ford like playing the game. Yeah, I mean they they've been doing such a good job with the with the Raptor, obviously the Gen One, Gen Two. I mean they did such a good job that I 
I know for sure. I, I have some friends aren't even Ford fans that were like, I would definitely buy that truck. I want to buy that truck or whatever, right? Mm. Um, when it comes to the Raptor. So um, hopefully they continue to do that um, to attract, you know, obviously other audiences and whatnot. Oh, is it coming? Okay, it looks like we're uh, it's like we're getting close here. On the, on the dot, man. What are you expecting? You think you think uh, you think they're gonna be doing some of the utilitarian stuff that they're doing on the regular F one fifties? You think they're gonna offer that option on oh, the Raptor? As, as far as um, all the outlets, and, yeah, all the and outlets, and, like and yeah. To be honest, I don't really see it. I, I think that they have to separate a little bit between, hey, this is our crazy off-road truck, mm -hmm. and hey, this is for new handling, that, you know what I mean, or yeah. workers or something. So I would be surprised if it, I don't know. I mean, it's their top of line truck. Sure. Yeah. They, you should have the ability to get any option you want. Right. The tailgate craziness, all the switches, all the outlets, mm -hmm. the, ba the, the battery generator system or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, because as of right now, there really isn't any separation, unless you're looking at like a, um, a F-150 diesel, right? But there really isn't any separation in options um, when it comes to the Raptor or just a regular F-150, you know? Yeah. So. Oh, we have some, we have some comments over here. What's up, brother? Ford is screwed if they don't have a V8 in it. <laughs> yeah, I, I tend to agree. 10 speed. Somebody says 10 speed. Yeah. Um, this is what what's in the Gen 2 right now. So no uh, no DCT. Uh, real question: How high can street speed jump jump it? Have you you saw that? <laughs> Him jump the T-Rex? No, have you seen it? No, oh, dude, it's really. I'll show. That 20 is, feet or so. That is hilarious. It totaled it, but goat modes. I'm sure it's gonna have all the modes. Right, I mean, it's got to have all the most. Okay, here we go. Sweet. Let's turn this bad boy up. Oh no, did they copy the T-Rex? So oh, that's what the T-Rex... Are they making fun? They are. Funny. Oh, no way, that's hilarious. Oh. It's definitely a All right? Yeah, is there a way to turn that up just a little bit? cinematics in the desert I mm -hmm. sure the front end slightly different oh, Ford is going for the feelers oh dang <laughs> Ford <laughs> in 2022. Huh. 
So, okay, so that's it. Um, I'll, uh, I'll be honest, a little, not what I was expecting. No. Um, let me see here. Yeah, not what I was expecting. Are they, uh, oh, no, that's not right. I really didn't. I really can't tell anything from that. To no, be honest, not even, at all. even when they came back with the with the engine noise, I'm not even 100 percent sure it's a V8 anymore. Mm -hmm. And then when they said, "Yeah, just yeah, that Mopar racing guy, more to come in 2022." What is that like? Okay, then we're gonna offer the engine that you want. That's kind yeah. of what it. That's kind of how I took it. I, I feel like I feel like they released this just to buy more time. It's, it was weird. It was really weird. I mean, I'm sure that some I mean, of these suspension guys. Can they were pop. definitely they were definitely targeting. Um, they were definitely targeting the whole T Rex commercial because in the beginning, how how have you seen the, the T Rex review? Uh, I feel like I watched it. I didn't. I didn't have like a big connection with it, but it was similar. Yeah, I mean, same color truck, you know, same area, and the guy was kind of dreaming about it, but then it was a Ford. It wasn't a T Rex. Ah. Uh. So they're definitely, you know. Targeting that going after that. Yeah. Um, I Wish there was more I wish they would have kind of at least You know give you a little little hints about the specs, you know, right? Um, there was nothing like I said, I think a, well, a heavy suspension guy could pause the video and maybe yeah, see some different That's what I was saying. I, I kind of want to because they keep Going to that scene right where they're the underbelly scene where the, the articulation of the the chassis and whatnot. I kind of want to pause it and see, like, the, was there still leaf springs in there? Or? I couldn't tell. Yeah, it was kind of one of those videos you got to go back and kind of slow-mo everything. Right, yeah. Yeah. Very interesting. I guess I was expecting, um, you know, something more definitive. Like, yeah. Like, hey, okay, this is what we're offering, and, uh, and, and here it is, you know, t take it or leave it. But it really wasn't. It was just kind no. of like a... A teaser, almost. Yeah, it was a teaser. That's what it is. A the the T Rex uh, reveal was, you know, obviously they they played the video and then the guy came out, um, and talked, you know, told you everything about the T Rex. And was, I think it was like thirty two minutes long or twenty nine minutes long or something like that. Okay, so we have we have an expert here in the chat. Okay, the all new five link rear suspension, electronically controlled Fox shocks. Okay, that that's how that, it's been. That's I think. pretty uh five uh five link rear suspension. I'm not exactly sure. That's kind of what you're talking about, right? Going yes. away from leaf springs. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Five link, huh? Not a four link. Cool. Over the air updates. I don't I personally don't care about that. I mean I mean I know you gotta stay modern and stuff like that. Thirty seven mm -hmm. seven inch tires. Okay, that's good. Okay. God, I mean if you compare this premiere to the Bronco premiere. It's not even close. I mean, the Bronco was yeah. like a, a production. You had information. You had facts. You had yeah. real people talking about it. This was just... That's what I'm saying. It feels more like a, a teaser or something that they're using to, to buy more time. And it's just like to kind of get you, okay, we're, what's next? Like Yeah. So ma know. maybe Ford couldn't pull it off as th as fast as we all thought. You know, the V8. And yeah. Stuff. Maybe, it, maybe it just couldn't happen. Yeah. Huh. So... That was interesting. <laughs> I mean, 37-inch tires, okay, I get that. I, I saw that the, um, not to get too off topic, but I saw that the, the Bronco Warthog was testing 37s. Yeah. That would be sick. You know what they say, bigger is better. That's what they say, yeah, slower, bigger is slower. Yeah, bigger is slower. <laughs> slower. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I mean, what do you guys think? Okay, uh, Motor Trend just released uh, more stuff uh, on it that deals with the specs. Okay, let me uh, let me try to bring that up here. Venom kills demons. I mean, I didn't I didn't get it from that premiere. No. I didn't get I didn't get it from that premiere. Okay, Motor Trend. Let's see here. Um, Justin, I don't know if we're just gonna be able to pop over here. Okay, so yeah, okay. looks like we got some pictures up here. Yeah, you see how the headlights are. Or slightly different now. And... Let's see if I can bring this on the stream here. I, I think I can get this on the stream. The All American streamer. Okay, we can get this motor trend here. Um, motor trend. And then.
Okay, so we got it. We got it on the stream here. Let's just take a look at it real quick, and then uh, and then we're going to be out of here. So, okay, motor trend. Wait, where did it go here? Where did it go? Oh, that's the motor trend store. store. Come yeah. on, come on. Let me just, I'm gonna learn how to spell and then, uh, and then we're gonna be dialed in here, okay. Uh, okay, here we go, here we go. Motor Trend. There you go. 2021 F-150 Raptor, first look. Highlights. Highlights. A trombone exhaust. <laughs> I don't know if that's <laughs> no, a good thing. No, I don't, I don't think that's a good thing. Um, I guess there's two frames before those do accommodate different cabs. Okay, only going to the Super Crew. That's interesting. What do you feel about that? I feel like some of the like hardcore yeah. off-road guys, they don't want the sunroof. They don't want they the don't. four door. They don't. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, I don't know. Everybody I know has loved the four door, so. Justin, you're gonna stick with your Gen One. I mean, I might, I might be right there with you, man. I might be right there. Sounds like the 2022 is the Raptor R. Yeah, I think right now it looks like the 2021 is just gonna be another, Ooh, another Eco Raptor that, R. Well, uh, yeah, that I mean, yeah. Okay, I'm, so five link coil spring, live axle rear suspension. Yes. So the the TRX is that a is that leaf springs in the back or no? Oh, uh, I don't think so. No. Honestly, I don't really know too much about those. Somebody in the comments, uh, let us know. No, it, it shouldn't be. Okay. Gen 1 is the greatest of all time. Yeah. Yeah, man. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Ah. <laughs> uh, Roll down a bit. Wow. You okay. know, even just looking at these pics, you want to see some of these photos? Even just looking uh, at these photos here, it's not a complete redesign, and that's what no, I was hoping not. we were going to see. I don't know if I like the, the face better. I think I like the second gen face better. It looks kind of lazy. Look at it. I, I know what they're doing with these. These are popular. The, these style of kind of... Well, mine has that, but it's uh, the second gen is, it comes all comes the way on around. on the bottom too, Except right? there's more, more headlights. It's a little bit wider. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just not seeing like a. Oh, that's cool. Okay, okay. Kind of looked a little plasticky, but. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Ah, I'll be honest. I'm not. I'm not completely like convinced. 37. Okay, 37. All right. little something. Big boy. Is there any uh, under the hood shot? There's really not. Oh, okay. okay. Here we go. There you go. Hmm. Okay. That can't be the most efficient way to route exhaust. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Oh, that's that, that. Maybe that's what they're talking about—the trombone uh, <laughs> exhaust. That might, that might be what they're talking uh, about. That's okay, funny. interesting. Okay. Yeah, shocks. So this is oh. the rear, the front. That, that's this the rear. Has, has to be the rear. That's the bump stop right there, and then oh, I don't. I don't yeah. I don't, oh, it's gonna have a leaf. Mm, too dark. Can't to really tell. Front. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so Center they got the new they got the new interior. No raptor on the seat. Mm -hmm. well, that's a lead. That's, Even my truck it's, says it's like in... Okay, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Bigger screen. Well yeah. Way bigger screen. Paddles, that's no nothing new here. That's yeah. kinda nice. A little perforated yeah. thing, whatever. Panoramic sunroof. It's just, to be honest, it looks about the same as my truck right now. Doesn't look too different here. No. 
Well, except for that big old screen in the front. Yeah. The, the dash is, I mean, you know. I, I'm not getting the, the off-road vibe no. from this. I, I'm yeah. getting the, the commuter, the, the you know, yeah. I, I'm just. Let's see. Yeah, besides the big old screen, I mean, even the, the center console, like all the buttons still looks pretty similar. Like, yeah. Yeah, all. even looks pretty similar. Yeah. So. So if you're going to jump it, you might want to stay with the 35s. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm yeah. not blown away. By this premiere, I'm not blown away. That's cool. So it's just like the other... That the shifter goes down? Yeah, the shifter goes down so you can go flat. I guess, I wonder if you can drive it like this. Because you have the paddles, you have full automatic mode. It would be cool to be able to put this in drive and lower it. Right? Well, the thing is, what's the whole point of that? Why not just do a knob style then at that point? Why not just do the knob? <laughs> How, know, like, yeah, yeah, why not just that, do the like, knob? <laughs> <laughs> so, so stupid. Yeah. I don't know. You're totally right, man. Yeah, or just a button like like the AMG. Is just, just do little, the knob. Yeah. They did it in the 500. They don't. Yeah. The, the GT500 doesn't have a fold down shifter. No, that's what I'm saying. It's, <laughs> what's what's the point? Oh, you're totally right. Yeah. You're totally right. Uh, it doesn't feel like this truck is marketed to the off-road audience. Maybe in 2022. That's. I mean, it's a weird. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know how I feel about everything that comes out in the first year, anyway. So, uh, I won't. You know, even if I was going to purchase one, I won't purchase one in the first year. I'll probably wait, you know, a year and a half or two years until they kind of like iron all the, the bugs out or when they offer a better package. I will say that Ford is lucky that they have the the, the Bronco to carry him through this year because this yeah. this is a letdown. Yeah. This is a letdown. Dude, a little the, bit. The, the dial shifter, man. <laughs> I'll tell you. Well, Ford is not watching this, but I'm t they missed the mark on that, I think. Yeah, what is the point of that? Yeah. When you could just move the... Yeah. Okay. That's it. No, there are there any questions? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This was a first for us. Um, give this a like or, you know, a thumbs up if this is something, you know, you want to see in the future or whatever. This really wasn't too hard to set up, and I'm sure we can just make an uh, improvement moving forward. I want to thank Kai so much for coming here. Yeah, no, uh, Again, follow him on Instagram. Um, I don't have his, his link, but Shelby Cobra Kai, um, one of the baddest Gen 2s almost ever, you know. Nah, I, I don't know about all that. <laughs> I, I, think, I think we got to get it back on the channel. Yeah, no, for sure. I think we got to get it back. You know, when we did the first review on it. There was a lot of stuff that wasn't on there yet. I didn't have the new, I didn't have my, my 1552s on there. I think I was running fuels at the time. and. I didn't have those Baja lights on there. I didn't have the winch. The winch, the winch is bad. You, you didn't have the wrap. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think I think we got to get it back on the channel. So, yeah. Cool. Cool. Okay. Hey, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. More content to come. Subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next episode or live stream.